so Glenn Beck had just had on um, somebody who wrote a book um, about the deep church in regards to Catholicism and the Vatican. You know, uh, along the lines of the deep state, there's a deep state and there's a deep church. No, if you believe in the Bible, the Bible says the whole world lies with the wicked one. Okay, so you can't separate the two. You can't. Um, some stuff I agreed with what he was saying that, you know, it's been about mind control. I, I've, um, before I was um, given a restriction on TikTok, um, I was talking a lot about the hypnosis that's been done to the people, uh, the mind control, um, and a lot of that has been done through the church. This is the reason why the Bible is true, because this is why Jesus said, I have to go away to send the helper. The helper was to lead you. Not a church uh, bishop, not a church uh, priest. I, um, is Bible study good with others? Absolutely, to talk about it and, 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 and you know, different, how you view a certain verse. But the key key thing here is is the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the uh, is all of it. That's that's where it all is. So there isn't a deep state, and there isn't a deep church. There is just wickedness that runs the world because that is what Jesus told us. I don't know why this is just not getting through to people. I mean, people that you know have the bully pulpit. So when you think when you think of the deep state. It's your government. It, it is. If, if anybody in, in, in Babylon, D.C., has been there for any length of time, okay, they, they are part of the crowd. They, they, they don't get to stay if they haven't, you know, decided to uh, take on the wickedness and, or not take it on and take it down, but um, become a part of it. Now, Donald Trump was trying to expose that, which is why they hate him. There will be a lot of people, because we're, we live under the wicked one, that are going to say, well, he's part of them. Okay, but that's not common sense, okay? I'm just, I'm not, I'm not even going to go there, because on my, my other TikTok channel, I've done plenty of um, uh, evidence to um, refute that. So, um, I saw today, too, I want to add this, because this is, this is what this wicked one is going to do. This, this wicked, uh, the in the air. I talked about uh, the, the wickedness uh, the Bible talks about says it's the prince of the air, okay? So look at it as the airwaves, the airwaves of your radio, the airwaves of your TV. It's in the air. It's, that's how it, 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 it woos you and charms you. Um, so it makes sense why Jesus uh, referred to um, the wicked one as the prince of the air. Uh there was a short TikTok I saw where, uh, oh, now science is trying to claim that they're able to create voices in people's heads, okay? I, w I would believe that. I totally would, given um, all of the, the, uh, the research and the studies they have done through the CIA in, with the mind control stuff. I totally, except here's the problem. They're trying to say, oh, we can create God who speaks in your head. <laughs> so this is where it's um, trash talk. Because they don't understand the way that God speaks. It's not a voice in your head. So they don't get it. They're never going to get it. But that's a great way for people that are maybe um, at the beginning of their faith trying um, to build a relationship with God through the Holy Spirit. You, um, because in the Bible it talks about um, test the spirits. Um, Jesus said test the spirits to make sure what voice you're listening to. Except um, the, when the Holy Spirit speaks to you, we refer to it as speaking to you, but it's not literally speaking to you. It's, there's no way to explain it. I said that on my other YouTube channel, which, you know, they're really going, they're, they're going hard at me trying to take every, all of my channels down. Um, and, and let's be uh, quite clear, they're, they're, they only do that to people that are speaking the truth, okay? You don't do that to people that you, you don't somehow fear or see as a threat, to your wicked lies. Um, but they don't understand that the, the Holy Spirit doesn't speak in the head. It's not, it's not what it is. So whatever they do, I, I don't doubt. I mean, I work in psychiatry. So um, I have, I have many patients, schizophrenia, schizoaffective disorder, del delusions, but that they hear voices. 
So that likely is part of that wicked one that's been doing things to people for a long time through um, what this uh, whole science study was talking about. But when it comes to that they can put God in your head and make you think you're hearing from God, no, because God doesn't speak that way. They, there's no, Like I said, there's a reason that it's sort of secret. <laughs> there, there's a reason why we're not able to explain it. Because it's not just a voice in your head and you believe it's God. It's, it's way different. It's way more. It's way, way beyond what this world can understand, which is why it's hard to put into words. Can't explain it. But people that have that relationship with God through the Holy Spirit knows know, know what it is and know when it's just their own thoughts or whatever. But it, it's different. It's not um, a voice. It's not speaking to you, yet it is. So it, it's really the only way to experience what I'm talking about is you have to build a relationship with uh, Jesus Christ through the Holy Spirit. It's the only way to do it. And that was the key to the, this whole, uh, this whole uh, jungle it is. It wasn't to find the right priest, the right church, none of that. Because Jesus knew that no matter how good maybe a church would start out, it would eventually succumb to uh, falling into wickedness because the wicked one rules this world. There's no way to avoid it. I mean, you should try to avoid it, of course. But the best way, which is why Jesus said, I'm sending the helper, was to trust the Holy Spirit more than you trust a priest, a bishop, all the people in the robes that Jesus made it very clear he didn't like. Didn't like all the hats, all the glory, you know. It, it wasn't about that for Jesus. Um, so I, I'm, it, it clearly is not for God because Jesus was God incarnate. Um, so this is where people are just getting it wrong. They're just getting it wrong. Um, there is not a separation between the deep state and the deep church. What's interesting, though, and I didn't think about this, is the Vatic Vatican is its own separate land. It's not part of Rome. Sort of like how D.C., Babylon, here in America, is not part of America. It's foreign land, really. So it's a great way to launder money and do a lot of other disgusting, depraved things. So you can um, you can separate them if you want, but there's really not a separation because if you separate them, then you're 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 discounting God's word, and God's word said that the um, whole world lies with the wicked one. So I tend to trust what God said um, and what Jesus said more than I trust what uh, news newsmakers um, and news media and um, priests and pastors and experts say about Jesus Christ. Um, the clear way to know exactly who God is in Jesus Christ is through the Holy Spirit. And that can't be explained. You just have to begin to have the relationship with God. So I debunk all of that nonsense that there's a separation between the deep state and our government or the deep state and the church. They're one and the same. That is, if you follow the Bible. But if you follow a different Bible, then um, you likely would believe that garbage.